Welcome to a short demo of our native Teams customer service app, Lua Nimbus. We will start with the user experience, then look at some reporting dashboards and finish with some configuration. The My Overview page is the user's central hub. In the top left, we can see all live interactions in the queues that I'm active in. The source will display the phone number or name of the incoming caller if we have Nimbus integrated with the CRM. The My Services will display the queues that I've been assigned to. I can log in and out of my advanced or enterprise routing groups or manage my presence profiles in the bottom left. The profiles can be customized to match the working patterns of the agents, for example, lunch break, on or off duty. The My Day and My Reporting tiles display some personal KPIs and SLAs so I can keep track of my own performance. My Sessions gives me a view of live and historical interactions. I am notified of an incoming call via the normal Teams call toast and I can handle this call using the Teams call handling actions. The name, queue and service information of the live call is displayed in My Sessions. The caller information or CRM pop-up displays timely information about the caller. Agents can select their reporting codes from the drop-down menu here. Moving on to the reporting, we have our My Services dashboard. It is designed to give us a snapshot of queue activity and agent availability. Each service is displayed as a column. Immediately we can see whether we have enough available agents to handle the calls. We can also see the availability of each user in that service. The state is driven by their team's presence and whether they are logged in or out of the queue. As a supervisor, I can log users in or out with immediate feedback on whether those users are available. Our live dashboard gives us a real-time view of the queue and the users. Our tasks show us the live status of the calls in the service, it shows us the state of the call and which agents the calls are connected to. The right side gives us live visibility of how long the agents have been in each state. The KPI dashboard provides a summary of SLAs and KPIs. You can toggle between different periods in the top right to view metrics like called handled versus not handled. Acceptance SLAs and average queue and connected times are displayed here. The central bar chart reports on the outcome of the calls, for example, if they went to voicemail, got transferred, or the caller hung up. At the bottom, there is a widget displaying user statistics and a heat map displaying handled and not handled calls. Our Power BI template provides a more granular view of the Nimbus metrics. Data can be viewed by service or user. The BI report also provides insights into call outcomes via the codes tab and all detailed records in unified sessions. Nimbus configuration gives organizations a variety of intuitive admin controls. Call flows are designed using the workflow editor. Here we can build the desired call routing using the conversation handling activities and checks. In this example, first we add the time of day routing, then a simple auto attendant including text to speech. Before sending the call to a group of users, the availability based routing will check the available users and provide routing options accordingly. When we are closed, we can play an announcement and then send to voicemail. 